All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to talk about a new player on the block that's it's kind of interesting. We're going to talk about Vinfast, which it seems like it's a Vietnamese, a Vietnam company that's it seems like they have like a ton of money just like coming to the market whether it's through like advertisements or just support or something. They're just trying they're like tripling down, like quadrupling down on the US market to really try and push to see if they can sell a couple EVs or sell some EVs here. So definitely some interesting stuff. We're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna take a look to see what I found so far and my kind of like thoughts on the VinFast. But I wanna know what your guys' thoughts as well. Let me know what you think on VinFast. Do you think the cars look good? I was able to see a couple of them at the LA Auto Show, but we're gonna talk about it. But let's roll the intro real quick. All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. My name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla. But today we're going to talk about VinFast because even though Tesla cars are great, I am a Tesla fan and I love, I've had three Teslas so far and I want to get into another one as long as I got banned. But I'm going to try and figure it out. But you got to always keep your eyes open, see what's out there. There's a ton of competition coming to the market from all the different makes and models. But this one is a newcomer to the block and super interesting. I mean, VinFast, uh, from what I've researched so far, it's a Vietnamese company that's a pretty big company or a Vietnam company. And they're just going heavy down. I think next month or even this month, they're already about to start to deliver 5,000 vehicles to the U.S. They were at the L.A. Auto Show last week. So I got to see both of these vehicles in person. And they're kind of interesting, though. I, I'm still not really sold on the look of it. I mean, I do like how they're just coming hard with, I guess, what they're calling ESUV, but basically SUV vehicles, uh, SUV vehicles for the space and size and all that stuff. And they're they're big cars. They don't the front. I'm you know I, I don't necessarily like too much, but I guess a, a lot of vehicles these days I don't really like the front. The back it's kind of whatever. But this vehicle looks really interesting. So you got the VF8 at forty two thousand dollars plus monthly battery subscription, and then the VF9 for fifty seven for, for monthly battery subscription. So on the surface level. Those look like decent prices, uh, but then you kind of get into this monthly battery subscription. So 57K is a bit for basically a you know big size real SUV, but I guess you don't actually keep the battery when you buy a VinFast vehicle, you, or you could, but most of the, they want you to kind of subscribe. And so the VF9 and the VF8, $169 a month or $219 a month. And I guess this is kind of cool. You get to pick pick a battery that makes sense for you. But I guess like that's that's kind of expensive. So $200 a month times 12, that's 2,400. And then if you kept it for three years, that's like six to $10,000 on top of the vehicle. But I guess what's good is like, let's say you went to go to switch to a different vehicle. You're gonna have a, you know, a good battery the whole time. It's not gonna be like too degraded, I guess. And that's what they're kind of looking for. But definitely an interesting kind of way to kind of attack this. If you lease your vehicles and this make, you know, make might make a lot of sense at the end of the day but you know definitely super interesting that they have two different models of course everybody's trying to go as big as possible with the biggest ipad in the middle of the center console and this one just it looks exactly like it i mean but you have to play with the ui i, I don't think at the auto show you we could go into the each of these if i don't remember correctly but at the same time you know you know decent you know, a futuristic, I guess, interior with the iPad in the middle or the iPad screen. Sorry, I can't say iPad trademark, but white interior is pretty nice. You got sensors built for safety. Does it have like uh, a autopilot type of, you know, enhanced driver assistance? I'm not even too sure, but 10 years warranty. I mean, that's good. They're taking like the Kia or even Jeep route to try and just give as much warranty as possible, but they don't, I don't think they, I guess they're not going to have service centers. They're just going to stick with like this mobile service, kind of like what Tesla does now. Oh boy, I guess Tesla also has service centers, but simply definitely super interesting. I mean, the VF9 for a full size SUV, probably with like a third row. I mean that for $57,000, I 
I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, that there is no SUV in that price point, in that you know cheap price point. But definitely, you got the third row right there in the back. So this this might be a super interesting vehicle. Maybe get it in like all black, so it's like super sleek, and then tint all the windows after that, so you really can't tell what it is. But I mean, people are really have not gonna not know what this is at all. But for sure. For sure, they're coming to the market strong. I mean, these are some pretty good stats. Zero to 60 in six seconds. That's all you really need. Anything under like three seconds or four seconds, you just need like four to five seconds and that's that's really, really it. I don't see anything about like a driver's assistance. Okay, so right here, there's advanced saving, safety, highway driving assist. So that seems like it's not as good as autopilot. It just kind of keeps you in the lane uh, or not even as good as super cruise. But, you know, definitely some super interesting stuff. But the one couple of things that I saw recently, or at least in the past, that makes VinFast kind of interesting is they're really going down as hard down on their marketing. So here's an article that I found that VinFast is to give $7,500 discount if federal tax credit is denied. So that, I mean, that, that's going, coming on strong to really try and beat out the market because there's a lot of vehicles, including VinFast, that probably won't qualify for the 75 for the full $7,500 tax credit uh, due to the Inflation Reduction Act. And also, I think VinFast is opening a factory in North Carolina as well, so they might qualify later down the road, but that first few months or years is going to be crucial for that to try and juice up sales for them. So it's super interesting that they're just going to be like, hey, here's you know $7,500 if we don't qualify, an extra discount, because then that really brings this SUV, you know, a really good deal, because then this VinFast SUV, I think was like $57 thousand dollars give or take uh vf9 with the third row yeah 57.5 so if, that basically makes it a 50k suv with third row that's electric i mean that sounds like a really good you know at least value dollar for dollar money if you just need a if you just absolutely need an electric car that i mean that seems like a slamming deal if, if they can deliver and actually get you the car or in a you know a short period of time if you get in the next few months or even the next year you know great but if you have to wait two three four five years and maybe not you know that's not a good thing the other thing i saw that was pretty funny was you could win a trip to vietnam if you bought a or put your name down for a registered uh, order for a vinfast so it seems like vinfast is you know of course a huge company in vietnam and they have like a campus and all these different factories and stuff like that so they and they, i think they have like a resort or something like that so it's really funny that like we're kind of cool that they can incentivize incentivize owners that hey if you buy a car from us you might be able to come to our vietnam resort and check out the factory and all that stuff but definitely some super interesting stuff on vinfast We'll, we'll start to see uh, if these vehicles actually start to deliver. Uh, let's see. Deliveries 5,000. Let me see if I can find that article. Yeah. Let's see. So delivered 100 VF8. So that was in September. Uh, we don't, I guess there wasn't an, up, an updated one after that. But, you know, it's going to be interesting to see these vehicles start to drive on the road and people are just going to be like, what is that vehicle? And then hopefully that helps them get more orders. But definitely some interesting stuff. If they can actually deliver a big, true third row SUV that's electric, third row for $50,000 or $57,000, then that, that seems seems like a slick deal in my opinion. But let me know your guys' thoughts on it. Definitely drop it in the comments below. Please hit that like if you're enjoying this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.